Buddhist Tibet has been periodically restive since Chinese troops entered in 1950. China's role in Tibet has become a focus for critics in the run-up to the Beijing. The Buddhist country was effectively independent for decades before communist troops entered in 1950. Images of the protest. The protests, which grew from peaceful demonstrations led by monks earlier in the week, had turned violent. The homeland has been under sustained repression for many years. They will only speak out anonymously and by telephone, fearing punishment after the most serious rioting and shooting in nearly two decades. Police opened fire on protesters in the Tibetan capital, Lhasa. In India, more than a hundred Tibetans are being held in custody after they defied a ban on their planned march to the border with India. Pro-Tibet demonstrations outside the Chinese consulate. Eyewitnesses say the capital city, Lhasa, is now in a virtual lockdown with a heavy Chinese security presence on the streets. Cars burned. The wave of protests erupted at the... Reports from Hong Kong say around 200 military vehicles have arrived in the city. Police scuffled with Tibetan demonstrators outside the Chinese embassy in New Delhi. The independence protests were the fiercest in the region in two decades. And against protesters in Tibet. Forced to achieve peace and the Tibetan nation is facing serious danger. <laughs> Police in Sydney arrested at least four people. Meanwhile, it's now being reported that as many as 80 people have been killed in anti-government demonstrations since Friday. Crowds of ethnic Tibetans clash with police and soldiers. This is challenged to Beijing's rule over the region in nearly two decades. A cultural genocide. Details of casualties remain hazy at this stage. Investors until midnight on Monday to hand themselves in, promising to be lenient to those who surrender. Peaceful rallies in Tibet began last Monday on the anniversary of a 1959 uprising against Chinese rule. The violence which erupted on Friday started just two weeks before China's Olympic celebrations kick off with the start of the torch relay which will pass through the mountainous region. We want freedom!